Today we are going to be working on a Slimer cookie and using painting techniques to really bring this guy to life. So my cookie is already flooded and dried completely and I'm going to use some vodka for painting and I have an array of paint brushes as well as some various colors. So he's flooded right now with the lightest color of his body and we're gonna add some darker green on top for a little bit more of the shadowing that you see here. And we're gonna be adding a little bit more icing to really make those pustules pop. And for his teeth, we're going to paint in the divots and some of the shadowing and darken them up a bit because Slimer's teeth ain't white. That's what centuries of junk food will do to ya, you know? All right, let's get started. I'm starting with some black food coloring that's gonna be used for the shadows. And some leaf green that I'm just gonna use right from the cap of the food coloring. And that's gonna be a majority of his body. But before we start painting, I am gonna use a little bit of icing to make his nose pop a little bit more and get more of a 3D look over here. The hole in my bag's a little bit too wide to really get into the crevices, so I'm just going to pipe on top of the main part of his nose and then use my scribe tool to pull it in towards the nostrils. And now I'm gonna get started on the eyes. So we're gonna go with a red dot right in the center for his menacing ojos. Using a really fine tipped brush. Boop. And boop. And next we gotta get shadowing around his eyes so it looks like they're inset and we'll have that nice little eyebrow effect up top. So I'm using black to start painting some shadows around his eyes and it is diluted just slightly with some vodka. And I'm not overdoing it quite yet because we can go back in and darken it up later and also expand it out further, but it is harder to erase the black from a lighter color. So starting off small and then expanding out as we go. And now it's time for his lip. So we're going to do just a thin line of greenish black and then we'll fill in that color for a nice contrast to the rest of his face. It's time to start darkening up his cheeks and his forehead, so I'm using a wider brush now to more gener generously apply the food coloring and get his face a little bit greener. If you find there's too much color in any one spot, you can just take your paintbrush with some vodka on it and gently swipe the area that you need to remove some color from and that'll help take a bit of it away. His cheeks have some dimension to them, so I don't want to color the entire cheek green. I want to leave a little bit of that lighter green in there. So I'm just looking at the photo, the reference photo, and finding where the darker areas are and where the lighter areas are and coloring accordingly. And I use a brush, a bit of a wider brush or a flat tipped brush 
to do some blending. A lot of times it doesn't have any color or not a lot of color on it, um, just some vodka. And it helps to blend nicely into the surrounding colors if you didn't want to make anything darker. Now we're starting on his many double chins and we're gonna follow the same pattern that we've been doing before, adding some darker green, leaving some areas and pockets that are a little bit lighter, and then adding our shadows in with a mix of black and green. And we're basically gonna continue to repeat the process the whole way through. This is definitely my favorite part of this cookie. We're using some of our icing and dabbing it in areas where we're seeing some of the pustules. And then using a paintbrush, either with just a little bit of vodka on it and no color, or as we go lower, we'll use a little bit of darker green and add it to the pustules, but it really gives this piece a 3D effect. And his lower body is darker in the photo as the shadows start to show more. So we're gonna continue to darken as we get lower. For his arm and his hands, we're doing the same technique, looking for areas that are shaded, looking for areas that are light, looking at the lines on our reference photo, and then following suit. This is a perfect example of where we add some icing with some green, darker green food coloring. His right hand is kind of on an angle and because of that, I'm piping on fingers so that they look more three dimensional. You have to let these dry for a bit until you can paint them. So in the meantime, I'm gonna keep working on his arm and a few other details on his face and body.
papyrus teeth, I'm starting with the gums, coloring them in a bit of a brighter pink, and then also the same with his tongue, some pink, and then a little bit of brown to enhance the shadowing. I'm going along the edges of his teeth with some brown and black to add some of the shadowing and then painting them in with some white and a bit of ivory to yellow them up a little bit. The last step, once his nose and fingers are dry, just remember to go back and color those in to match the rest of his body and your reference photo. And then feel free to add any additional details where you see them. Other than that, this guy is ready to take on NYC.